Well, hello and welcome to QuipCon. Thanks for stopping by to take a look at this Vulcan Fryer. I'll show you first that the timers work. These are brand new. We just put them on. I'm going to turn it up to 6 and I'm going to turn it back. Now, if you're going to turn it up to 6, you're fine. Just turn it to 6, let it go. But if you're going to go on just, say, one minute like I am, we have to turn it up and turn it back to wind the spring so the bell will ring. So I'm going to do the same on this. Turn it up, turn it back. I'm going to go back that far. There we go. So those are... That one's less than a minute, and that one's just about a minute, so this one should go off first, and then this one. Now I'm going to show you how to light the pilot. Right here is the off position. You can see it's just a straight line. That's off. Down underneath there is a little P. You can kind of see it. And over here is an O for on. So we're going to turn this to the P position, and we're going to light the pilot. Now you only have to do this the first time, or if the gas goes off, or somebody shuts it off. If it's uh, Once you get it lit, it's going to stay lit. So this is, this is something the person's going to do that hooks it up. I just want to show you that it works. Oh, there goes that timer. I'm going to turn it on and hold in on the pilot. Hold in on the little red button there to light it. And it lights right away. It lit right away because I had it lit before. But uh, normally you'll have to hold it in a little bit to get gas up there uh, for the first time. And there goes that timer. Now I'm holding it in. You see the reason I'm holding it in is because there's a thermal pile right there, right in the center. It has to warm that up. And once it's warm, that's where it actually creates the electricity. So this is, the fire is making the electricity to run the uh, valve. Very smart idea, so you don't have to plug it in electrically. Now we're gonna turn it to the on position, which is right there, see the little O, on. And the thermostat, when I turn that up, it's gonna light. And that's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna turn it back off real fast because we don't have any oil or anything in there. Now, normally when we test them, we'll fill this with water. That way it evenly spreads out the heat and it doesn't overheat. But for the video, I just wanted to show you that it worked. We've already tested it. We filled it up with water. We let it run for, oh, hey, a good uh, 20, 25 minutes. We set it as low as we can because if you set it too high, well, the water boils over. But that's part of our cleaning process also. We put uh, water in there and then we put some metal safe cleaner in there to clean it. And we boil the water and boil all the all the ickies out of it, so it's nice and clean for you. Let me show you the pilot still lit. Now, when you do want to shut the pilot off, say serviceman comes or you're doing something that you don't want the pilot on for some reason, well, you just turn it to the off position, and the pilot goes off. Now, when you do turn it to the off position, you can see from pilot it stops. You push it in and turn it to the off position. You don't want to just crank it or you'll bust the knob. It's just a little plastic knob in there. It's a very nice knob. That's also actually brand new because at some point, somebody probably did that. Turned it, if you just try to turn it off and you meet resistance, anytime you meet resistance, you should stop and think something's not right. Push it in and turn it and you'll be fine. It's the way that it's supposed to work. If you do things the way you're supposed to, I find out, your your uh, your fryers and your other things last a lot longer. So, if you need this or you have any questions about it, give us a call. Our phone number is 636-583-8200, and you can go to our website, which is www.quipcon. It's q u i p c o n dot com, and you'll see some real nice pictures of this put back together.